Hi, I'm Melissa Clough. Welcome to a gentle flow yoga. It's gonna be a real nice gentle flow. It's great if you have lower back issues. If you want just more of a mellower, calmer practice, this is gonna be great for you today. So let's go ahead and get started. To prepare for our practice, as usual, I encourage you to sit on a block or a couple of cushions um, or a couple of blankets that you have, anything that you uh, need to sit up tall. Also, if you have a strap that you can use or even a towel or a tie, anything that um, can you can have some length on to get around your foot um, to stretch, that would be great also to utilize um, like a hand towel is fine. Um, anything that you have, you can be creative. And I also encourage to uh, get a blanket um, or a towel to place on your mat under your knees. So we're gonna be mainly on our uh, backs, knees today. We're gonna do a little, couple few standing poses, um, but really it's a nice gentle practice. So uh, anything that you can protect your knees with, uh, if you have any sensitive knees, that would be helpful as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin with our grounding. So go ahead and close your eyes. Begin to elongate the spine. Lift the crown of the head up towards the sky as you draw your tailbone down towards the earth. Lift the shoulders up towards your ears. And as you exhale, reach them back, squeezing and hugging those shoulder blades together as you drop the shoulders away from the ears. Again, inhale, reach the shoulders up. Exhale, drop them down away from the ears. One more time, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, let's reach the shoulders up and then slowly round. Maybe bring your hands to your knees into a little seated cow or cat here. Gently lean back, just getting a nice opening in the shoulder blades. Inhale, shoulders come up as you come up to straighten the back. Exhale, round the shoulders forward, lean back, chin to chest. Inhale again, rise up the shoulders. Exhale, lean forward, hugging them in, and then slowly come back up to neutral. Before we get settled in here, let's just take a couple of neck rolls. Just bringing the head into little half rolls, going forward and back a few times, not all the way back, just little half circles, left and right. And then bring your head back up to neutral. Go ahead and draw the head up a little higher towards the sky. Exhale, shoulders away from the ears. Chin tucks down, little double chin here. You wanna bring maybe your finger to your chin and. Press it back so that you get some length in the back of the neck. And then go ahead and set your intention for your practice today. Maybe it's a word or maybe it's a phrase or a mantra. Maybe it's, I am calm. I am loving kindness. I radiate love and I receive love. I am happy, I am well, all is well. Anything that you want to bring into your practice today, maybe you want to dedicate your practice to somebody or something, maybe to peace and healing in the world, anything you want. Connect to that intention now as you relax the belly, drop the chin down towards the chest. I'll encourage you today to be mindful of each movement, to let go of any perfectionism, to really feel your body through each pose, to feel your breath guide you through your practice, through each movement. And I wish you much healing and love and light during this time and even off of your mat as you carry all of these tools with you. Because no matter what you do outside of here, you bring it on your mat. Wherever you go, there you are. So how would you like to be instead? It may be a more focused, centered, more calm person. 
and honor those things that you already have, the inner resources within you that are already working very well for you, that are serving you your highest purpose. As you maybe set the intention to let go of anything you don't need right now. Letting go of fear, of worry, of stress, attachments. What do you need to let go of in your cup to fill it with something more positive? It will serve you better on your journey. And then just thank yourself right here for showing up on your mat today. Because by being here and taking care of yourself, you're better able to take care of others and be there for others. Begin now taking deeper breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. I'll invite you to engage your ujjayi breath, the yogic breath, which is a little small constriction in the back of the throat. As you take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale, open the mouth like you're fogging a mirror. Notice that constriction in the back of the throat. It's almost like it's preserving some of the air, holding some in so all of it's not let out at one time like slowly deflating an air from a tire. And then inhale through the nose again. And now seal the lips while fogging the mirror. So it's as if you're fogging the mirror with the mouth open, but now the lips are sealed and you have that same constriction in the back of the throat. Sounding almost like the ocean waves. Breathe in again through the nose. A little constriction in the back of the throat, pause. Exhale, ujjayi breath out. Continue with your ujjayi breath. It really helps preserve your energy throughout the practice. So as you continue that breathing, begin to elongate the spine, feeling the belly expand and rise, opening every channel and every part of your body now. Imagine that you have a nice light around you, protecting you, healing you, keeping you safe and well. As you inhale, cocoon that light around you, bring your arms up overhead, palms come to touch as if you're grabbing all that light and just bringing it around you. And then exhale, draw that light into you from the top of your head down into your heart, bringing your hands down to your heart center and allowing all that light to flow down through the tailbone, through your feet, your legs, circling back up through your arms, through your head again, making a nice loop of light within and around you, keeping you safe and well, keeping you healthy and happy. And then on your next inhale again, reach those arms up overhead. As you exhale, drop your hands down towards the ground here, maybe remove that block out from under you. And then walk your hands out, keeping your hips down on the ground. And drop your head, just allow your shoulders to relax here. Maybe roll the head back and forth a few times. Yes and no. Relax the arms down. And then as you inhale, walk your hands all the way over to your left. Drop the head down here. Inhale the hands back to center. Walk them over to your right. Drop the head down. Keep pressing your hips firmly into the ground as you relax the shoulders. And then inhale, walk the hands back to the center and walk them back in. Let's come into a seated cat cow. Press the gaze up, press your chest up and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, chin to chest, round the back. Lean back slightly as you use your knees to hold you. And then inhale, rise back up. Maybe close your eyes, feel the breath with the movement into cow and then exhale the cat round the back slide the hands down the knees drop the chin to chest 
Maybe roll your head side to side a couple times. And then inhale, back up, gaze up, squeeze the shoulders, exhale. Last one here, chin to chest, lean back slightly. And then inhale back up into a seated position, reverse the crossing of the legs, whichever side was in front, um, bring the opposite one forward. And as you inhale, arms rise up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat, drop your head down. Maybe shake your head just to know a few times. On your next inhale, come up halfway, walk the hands over to your right. Keep the hips pressing down as you drop your head down. Maybe you bring your left hand on top of the right for a deeper side body stretch. If that's too much, keep your hands just where they are. Inhale, come up halfway, walk the hands to the center, and then over to your left. Keep pressing the palms into the ground, drop the head down. Maybe bring the right hand on top of the left, or keep your hands right where they are. On your next inhale, hands come back to center. Walk them back in towards the body. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. As you exhale, bring your right hand over your left knee and left hand comes behind you. Just come on to the fingertips so you can bend that elbow and drop the shoulder away from the ear. As you inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, twist, gazing over your left shoulder. And then inhale, come back to center. Both arms reach up to the sky, palms touch, exhale, opposite hand over knee, and then slowly bring your right hand behind you. Come up onto the fingertips, just gently here, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, little twist here. Inhale, back up. Reach the arms up overhead. As you exhale, slowly come back and then let's go ahead and bring the hands into a 90 degree wrist into 90 degree angles. You're gonna keep the hands lifted up off the ground just a little bit, as long as you're not shrugging into the shoulders. I have short arms, so uh, if your hands reach the ground, no problem. Just flex them here. On your inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, draw the left ear over to the shoulder as you continue pressing that right hand down towards the earth. And then maybe go ahead and bring that left hand up. Gently bring the fingertips to the side of the head and slowly draw that ear closer down towards the left shoulder. Relax, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, release both hands back up. Exhale, bring them back down, flexing the hands. Reach the right hand up, gently bring the fingertips onto the side of the head as you slowly draw that right ear over towards the shoulder and press that left hand down away from you towards the earth. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, drop down again. Inhale, arms rise up, palms come to touch. Exhale, bring your hands back behind you. You're clasping the hands together, pressing the palms together, reach the shoulders away from the ear, keeping really straight arms here, pressing the shoulders away from you. And then gaze up as you inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze up. Maybe eyes are closed. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, back up to center. Reach those arms back up overhead. As you exhale, coming into Garudasana arms, eagle arms, bring that right elbow underneath the left. You can place your palms here together to touch or just hold on to the outer edges of your shoulders if this is uncomfortable. Otherwise, press your hands together as much as possible. Lift up the elbows, shoulder height here. Now press those elbows away from you so you feel a nice opening in the shoulder blades, the upper back, the scapula. As you exhale, drop down into sleeping eagle arms, rounding. Again, you can always have your hands on the shoulders. 
And then as you inhale, rise back up and gently lean back, pressing those elbows up only as comfortable as you can. And then as you exhale, release the arms, reach them back up as you inhale and then exhale, opposite elbow underneath, your left one underneath the right. Palms come to touch as you inhale, press the elbows up to shoulder height. As you exhale, press the elbows away from you. Keep pulling that belly up and in as you lengthen and elongate the spine. And then exhale, round, sleeping eagle. Inhale, rise back up. And slowly lean back, bending from the upper back here, just gently, and then gently come back, release. Bring the hands back behind you again. Bring the opposite thumb over to clasp the hands together, pressing the palms together, reach the gaze up, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, head comes down, chin to chest. Inhale, slowly release. Bring the arms up overhead. As you exhale, come forward into tabletop. Keeping the belly pulling in, we're just going to bring the shoulders over the wrists, spread the fingers wide, and then press evenly into all five knuckles of each hand. Keeping the knees directly underneath the hips, pull the shoulders away from the ears, squeezing and hugging the shoulder blades together or upper back. And then on your next inhale, drop the chest, gaze up, reaching the shoulders away from the ears, feel that nice expansion in the torso. Exhale, press your hands into the ground as you reach the back up to the sky. Inhale, rise up. Exhale into cat. Maybe close your eyes. Feel your breath guiding the movement here. Connect maybe to the ujjayi breath. Or if it feels better, you could just always open the mouth and breathe out through the mouth. We're doing a slow practice. As you exhale, just let it go. Inhale, come back up into tabletop. We're gonna just work the core very gently. Um, the core is what supports our balance and our posture. So we really wanna make sure that's nice and strong. So we're gonna keep the belly pulling in, nothing too intense here. As you uh, draw the belly in towards the spine, gently lift up that left, or uh, your right leg, excuse me. Flex the foot, draw the heel back. Pull the belly in. If your leg is up really high, drop it down hip height. And then draw and extend the heel towards the back wall. On your next inhale, if you like, you can always just stay in tabletop here or reach that left arm up off of the ground. Palm faces you towards your face. Hold here and then exhale, release both leg and arm back down. On your next inhale, left leg rises up. Flex the foot, bring the leg in towards the midline of the body. Reach that heel towards the back wall. Leg is hip height here, not too high, not too low. And then on your next inhale, hug the belly in, reach the right arm up, and then palm faces you here. Hold for a breath and exhale, release both back down. On your next inhale, right leg rises up. You can always have a blanket under the knee as I mentioned in the beginning of the practice. Flex the foot. On your next inhale, left arm rises up. Breathe in, pull the belly up and in, and then exhale or inhale, draw the elbow to knee. Breathe in, exhale, extend back out. Extended cat cow here, knee to elbow, inhale, and exhale, extend out. Good, one more, inhale, hold. Exhale, extend. Good, gently release down. On your next inhale, left leg rises, flex the foot, right arm rises up, extending here, breathe in, arm and leg towards midline of the body. As you inhale, knee to elbow touches, hug the core in, mula bandha, pelvic floor lifts up and in. Exhale, release, and inhale again, knee to elbow to touch. And exhale, let it go. Inhale again, knee to elbow. And exhale, extend. And then gently release back down. On your next inhale, bring the big toes together, knees open wide, and gently drop the hips down towards the heels as you extend the arms forward into a child's pose. Drop the forehead onto the mat. 
Maybe shake your head yes and no a few times. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open mouth. Deep breath in. Exhale, open mouth. Let it go. Breath in. Let it go. Relax the shoulders. On your next inhale, gently rise up back into tabletop. If you have any wrist issues, you can always come onto your fifth. I have some wrist issues here, so it's not always comfortable for me to be on my hand, so I'm just gonna be on my wrist, or on my fist. And then on your next inhale, lift up the right leg. Let's open the knee out, and then just make big circles here. Big circles, alternately. You can come down to your forearms if you'd like. Might hear some popping, that's a good thing. And then go the opposite direction. And then pause here. And then let's come to the other side. Left leg comes out, knees bent here. Just make nice big circles. Getting some rotation in the hips, legs. And then reverse the circles, going opposite direction. And then slowly come back into tabletop here. Bringing the shoulders over the wrists. Knees underneath the hips. On your next inhale, let's make big circles with the hips. Bring those hips all the way over to the right. Draw the hips back towards the heels and then come over to the left. Making a half circle and then as you inhale, go the opposite direction. Taking it all the way over to the right. And then again, back the other direction. And then the opposite direction here. I hear a lot of popping. That's a really good thing. And last one here. And then back to center. On your next inhale, let's gently draw the hands in towards the knees again. You can come into standing if you'd like. We're gonna do some kneeling sun salutations. If this is too much on your knees, you can just feel free to stand up and do the same movements. Otherwise, bring a blanket or towel underneath your knees if you'd like. And then we're going to come up onto the knees, curl the toes under. On your next inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause here. Inhale, release, arms rise up. Exhale into child's pose, big toes together, knees open wide, drop the forehead down. On your next inhale, gaze up, slide the hands forward as you come onto your belly, coming into high cobra. Bring the tops of the feet onto the mat. You might have to adjust your body position here, stay on the mat. And then slowly uh, bring the hands down so that they're maybe in line with your chest a little bit more forward. And then tops of your feet press into the ground, thighs press into the ground as you rise up into high cobra. Bend the elbows here and then exhale, fold back down. Inhale, come up, press into the hands, curl the toes under, maybe come onto the knees first and then lift up into downward facing dog. Keep the belly pulling in. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Imagine you're hugging those arms in towards each other as you press the hips up. If you need to walk your feet in a little bit, feel free to do that if you feel like you have a lot of pressure in your shoulders and your wrists. And use your hands to lift the hips up a little higher as you draw your chest down towards your thighs. Pressing those hips up, inhale. And exhale, drop down onto the knees. Pull the belly up and in. Arms rise up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center, pause. Good, inhale again. We're gonna do this three times, arms rise up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, big toes come together. Open the knees wide, child's pose. Drop your forehead down onto the ground. 
Roll the forehead back and forth a few times. Inhale, press your hands into the mat. Slide forward into High Cobra. Bringing the hands just slightly in front of the chest. Elbows hug in towards each other. Thighs are down. Tops of the feet are on the mat. Lift up into High Cobra. Bending the elbows. Maybe gaze over the right shoulder. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, back up, High Cobra. Exhale, curl the toes under, lift up, downward facing dog. Again, make any adjustments you need to. <clears throat> I tend to need a shorter stance for my wrists here. But wherever feels good, make an upside down V. Pull the belly up and in. Let's go ahead and just pedal the legs out one at a time. And bend into both knees. Lift the hips high. And exhale, draw the heels down towards the earth. Keep hugging the shoulders away from the ears. Hug the outer arms in. Press those hips up with your hands. Spread evenly into all five knuckles of each hand. Take a look at your hands. Make sure they're not turning off to the side. Index fingers are pointing straight to the top of the mat. Press evenly into all four corners of each hand and your feet. If your heels don't touch the ground, no worries. Keep the hips lifted. On your next inhale, bend the knees. And rise up. Inhale, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause here for a breath. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, hands come down. Child's pose, big toes together, knees open wide. Drop the head down. Maybe shake the head yes and no a few times. Inhale, come back up onto hands and knees, and then come forward into High Cobra. Just getting back on the mat. Hands are right up by your chest level here. As you inhale, come up, keeping your thighs down. Let's actually walk the fingers out in front of you this time, coming onto the fingertips. Maybe if it's hard to come up, bring the hands a little closer to you. But just come on the fingertips, really squeeze and hug those shoulder blades together as you gaze up. And then exhale, fall back down. Inhale, press your hands back into the mat. Press back up into tabletop. And then slowly walk your hands in, rise up onto your knees. Exhale, hands to heart center and pause. On your next inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, right hand comes down to the side of your leg. Reach that left arm up and over here. Gaze underneath your left arm or look up. Maybe look down. Inhale, arms rise up, palms come to touch. Exhale, left hand down, side of the leg. Reach that right arm up. Gaze up over the arm or maybe look down. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause. On your next inhale, big toes come together, knees open wide, exhale, child's pose. On your next inhale, gently come up into tabletop pose, knees underneath hips, shoulders over wrists, exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, right leg rises up, bend the knee, really open the hips up here, Gaze underneath your arm, maybe look underneath your left arm, and roll out the foot back and forth a few times. Slowly bring the hips back to neutral, and then take that right foot forward, right up in between the hands. If you need a little pit stop on the way, no worries. However you can get there is perfectly fine. On your next inhale, knees over the ankle here, arms rise up, reaching up. On your next exhale, right hand comes down to your side. Reach the left arm over the ear. Maybe bring your right hand to your hip if that feels more comfortable. And remember not to collapse here in the shoulders. Keep opening that chest up. And then on your next exhale, release the hands back down. Gently bend into that left leg. Bring your right hand onto the, or your left hand onto the mat. Right hand comes back, holding onto the Outside, outside of the foot, and then slowly kick into your hand so that your foot is pressing and kicking into the hand so your shoulder opens up here, maybe look up towards the sky, or look down, and then slowly look down, draw the heel in towards your body. Hold here, take a couple breaths. Breathe. 
If you have a block, you can also bring a block under your hand if you'd like. And then slowly exhale, release back down. On your next inhale, slowly come back into low crescent lunge, arms rise up, hands come to heart center. Pause here. Good, and exhale, release, hands come down to the mat. Go ahead and step back into tabletop. On your next inhale, cat cow, drop the chest, gaze up. Exhale, round the back, press it back to the sky. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Bend into the knee, open, stack that left hip on top of the right, maybe roll out the ankle. You can always just stay in downward dog if you'd like. Keys underneath the right arm. Open, and then slowly come back to neutral. And step that foot up right up in between the hands. Coming onto the back knee again. On your next inhale, arms rise up into low crescent lunge. Exhale, left hand comes down to the hip. Right arm reaches up and over, pressing the hip to the right. Keep pulling the core up and in to stabilize you here. Reaching and lengthening, maybe look down or up, your choice. Inhale, both arms rise up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. On your next inhale, lower the hands back down to the mat. Breathe here, and then slowly bend into the back leg. Press your right hand down onto the mat or underneath a block if you'd like. And then go ahead and hold on to your right foot with your left hand to the outside edge of the foot. Keep kicking into the hand to press that chest open and come into a little twist gazing up. Keep kicking into the hand. And then as you exhale, release, bring that uh, heel in towards your hips here as you gaze down, pause for breath. Or two. And then slowly release the foot down. And then stay on that back knee as you reach back up into a low crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Inhale, reach your hands back down towards the mat. Step back into tabletop and then lift up into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, right leg rises up. Exhale, press it up right in between the hands, drop down onto the back knee, low crescent lunge. Arms rise up. Exhale, bring that left hand over the outside edge of the right knee. Reach that right arm back, maybe behind you, or just have your hand on your hip. Gaze back at your hand or just look as far as you can go back. And then on your next inhale, bring that right arm up overhead. Reach it forward and take it back again. Getting some rotation in the shoulders, take it forward and back. And last one forward and back. And then opposite direction, forward and back. Good. Gazing at your hand almost the whole time here. And then last one, arms rise up. Lean back, open the cactus, arms, chest rises up. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Rock onto that front heel as you reach your hips back. If you wanna come all the way back onto your heel, no big deal here. You can do anything that feels comfortable or you can scoot the foot forward, keeping the hips lifted. Flex the right toes towards your face. And then as you exhale, keep a little micro bend in the knee here and then drop the forehead down to knee. Take a few breaths, opening up the hamstrings, back of the leg. If you sit a lot, it might be kind of tight. Just breathe. Eventually they'll open. And on your next inhale, gently slide that front foot back into tabletop. On your next inhale, breathe in, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take that left leg up and step it right through, coming into low crescent lunge. Back knee down, arms rise up here. Palms come to touch, right hand over outside of left knee. Left arm comes back. Gaze at your palm behind you or bring that left hand to your hip and just look wherever you can look. Gaze here, breathe. And then on your next inhale, take that arm forward and up and back. And forward, 
and back. Last one here, forward and back, getting that shoulder rotation, and then reverse up and back. Breathe, opposite direction. And last one, following your hand as much as possible. And arms rise back up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. And then rock onto that front heel. Maybe scoot the foot forward if you like. Or if not, just come on to sitting on the heel. Your choice, you'll get a little bit more of a stretch if you keep the hips lifted. Flex the toes so they're towards your face. As you exhale, drop your forehead down to the knee. Breathe here. You might notice one side's tighter than the other. My other side is definitely tighter than this one. It's usually our driving leg, the right side. I just breathe into it, one more breath. And then on your next inhale, slowly come up onto the fingertips, scoot that foot back into tabletop. One last cat cow here, inhale, drop the chest, gaze up, squeeze the shoulder blades, exhale, round the back, press your hands into the ground, lift the back up. Inhale, back up into tabletop. On your next exhale, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises up. Exhale, step it through, coming into warrior two. So we're gonna spin the back toes to a 45 degree angle. Right knee comes over the ankle here. You're pressing into the outer edge of that back foot, not into the arch of the foot. So we're gonna press the outer edge, knife edge of the foot here. And then scoot your front foot forward if you don't see your toes. Bring the front knee over the ankle into a 90 degree angle. If your knees are too far forward, you won't be able to see your toes, so scoot them forward so that your knee is in proper alignment here. And then once you have your footing here, front heel is in line with the back arch. And then you can straighten the torso. If you're leaning forward, bring it back to center. And then arms come out by your sides. Hug and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Relax the shoulders away from the, arm, from the ears. And then gaze over the right fingertips. Imagine what's beyond the wall. Breathe here, find your focus. The longer you stay in this pose, the more challenging it is. And I've heard some yogis say before that if you can master the warrior poses, you can master anything in your life, <laughs> which I actually believe is true because they, you're finding the calm in the challenge, right? You're finding your focus, even though it's hard. And that says a lot. You can bring that into your life in so many ways. On your next inhale, bring your hands to touch, so your hands are coming to touch, and then open back out. Inhale, right arm reaches up, left hand comes down the back leg, reaching up into a reverse warrior, arm comes over the ear, maybe look to the back foot. Inhale, arms back up, warrior two, and exhale, Parjva Konasana, right hand on top, right forearm on top of the leg. Left arm reaches up and over here. Inhale, back up, warrior two. And exhale, release. Straighten the front leg, bring the back foot in just about a foot or so. And then reach into triangle, reach the front fingertips forward, forward, forward until they drop down to the inside of the shin. You can also use a block here if you'd like. A little slight bend in the knee. Inhale, arm rises up, strengthening, lengthening the arm. Keep pressing the left hip down. Open the heart, and then slowly come up. And then we're going to reach the arms up, turn the toes in, heels come out. Do this facing you. Coming into Prasarita Padottanasana, heels are out, toes are in, arms rise up. Exhale, hands come forward. You can use a block if you'd like, if you have one or a book anything or just your hands. Keep pressing the outer edges of your feet into the ground and then bring the weight to the balls of the feet. As you exhale, drop your head down. Make a little shelf with the arms here in 90 degree angles. Elbows are not splayed out. They're coming in line with the shoulders and then exhale, drop the head down. Bring the weight to the balls of the feet. It almost feels like you're tipping forward, but you're not going to, don't worry. Take a breath. On your next inhale, come up halfway. 
And then slowly come up with a flat back, hands to your hips, rise all the way up. We're just gonna turn the opposite direction, bringing your left toes out and right toes in. So opposite way, I'm doing the same side again because I was turned around the other way. But this is uh, your opposite side. And then your front heels align with the back arch. Arms come out to your sides for warrior two. If you don't see the front toes, scoot them forward. Then bring that front knee over the ankle. Press the outer edge foot into the mat. Arms rise out. If your torso is coming forward too far, bring it back to center. And then gaze over your left fingertips here. Relax the shoulders, breathe. And then on your next inhale, hands come to touch. Exhale, open back out. Reverse that warrior, right hand slides down the back leg, left arm reaches up and over. Maybe look back at your back foot. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Exhale, Parjva Konasana, left forearm on top of the thigh, palm faces up. Right hand comes up to the sky, lift and lengthen here. You can stay here or bring that arm over the ear and then bring the palm to face behind you. And lift and lengthen, lengthen the hand away from the foot. Reaching opposite directions with the foot and the hand. And then inhale back up to warrior two. And then slowly straighten that front leg. Bring the back foot in just slightly for tripo, or trikonasana, triangle. Reaching the fingertips forward, forward, forward until the hands come to the inside of the shin. Left or right arm rises up here. And then slowly rest back up. And then turn both toes in, heels come out. Hands come to your hips again. Lift and lengthen in the spine. And then as you exhale, come down with a flat back. And then drop your hands down onto the mat. Making a little shelf with the arms. Pradza, Prasarita Padottanasana A. A little variation here. You can stay here or come up halfway. And then walk your hands over to the right side. Maybe hold on to your right ankle with left hand. And gently pull on the ankle as you gaze up over the shoulder. You can stay here or bring right arm up to the sky. And then slowly release. Walking the hands over to your left foot. Right hand comes to the outside of the ankle or shin. And then inhale, gently pull on the ankle or your shin as you reach the left arm up into a gentle twist, gazing up over the arm. Breathe here. And then exhale, release both hands back down. Heel to toe your feet in, bring your hands to your hips and slowly rise up halfway. And then heel to toe your feet in. And take a step up to the top of your mat. As you inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, sink down into chair. A little stabilizing pose here. Keeping the heels down. Lift the toes so the weights in the heels. Drop the hips down. Draw the tailbone down towards the ground. Keep pulling the belly up and in. Maybe bring your arms up or cactus arms is fine here too. Sink a little bit lower. Take a breath. And then exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up overhead. Palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and bend into your knees. Come down onto the knees and then into a seated position here. Let's come into Janushir Shasana. So we're going to come into single leg stretch. We're going to bring the right foot in to the inside of the thigh, left foot comes out. On your next inhale, Flex this left foot, arms rise up, pulling the belly in. If you need your strap here, you can go ahead and take your strap, your towel or a tie, and just bring it to the ball of the foot. So if you can't reach your foot, you're gonna bend your knees a little bit here. You can also sit on your blanket to get a little more height. And then you're gonna bring the strap or whatever you have to the ball of your foot. 
And make sure you're not having a death grip here. You wanna relax the shoulders. And then go ahead and squeeze the kneecap. You're gonna engage the quadriceps. Press the toes towards your head. Lift and lengthen here, inhale. Exhale, reach the head towards the toes. Drop the uh, elbows down if you can come down on the elbows in line with each other here. And as you exhale, drop the forehead down to the knee. Take a few breaths here. This is where all of our negative self-talk comes in. It's like, I can't do it, I'm so tight. Oh, this is uncomfortable. You know, yoga should never be painful. It can be uncomfortable, but not painful. So uh, if you're feeling any pulling on the lower back or any pulling in the, behind the leg and the hamstring, bend the knee here, come up a little bit. You don't have to go down as far. Eventually you'll open enough so you can come down further and further each time. But uh, take it easy here, be gentle on yourself. Meet your body where it's at. If you have higher stress days um, or you've eaten a lot of things with sugar or alcohol or gluten and your body's more inflamed, it can be harder to uh, come into your flexibility. So just be gentle on yourself. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Extend both legs out in front of you, bend the knees uh, and then Reach the arms up overhead. As you exhale, gently fold forward, holding onto the big toes, and reach your head towards the toes, just very gently here, because one of those sides of the legs is not stretched out yet. So as you inhale, rise back up, and then go ahead and bring your left foot to the inside of your thigh on the right leg. Flex the right toes towards your face. Little micro bend in the knee here again if you need to. Bring your strap over the ball of the foot and then lift and lengthen through the head. You wanna flat back here. As you exhale, reach your head towards the toes. We don't wanna round. We really wanna press the chest forward, press the head towards the toes. If you can hold on to your foot, drop the elbows, drop the forehead towards the knee, but keep reaching and extending, lengthening in the back. Remember to breathe. Maybe take some deep exhales out here. And one more breath. On your next inhale, gently rise up. And then we're just going to scoot to the side of the mat. Again, you can use um, some blankets underneath your bottom here if you'd like. We're gonna come into side ankle stretch here, or wide-legged stretch. So this one, you have to really be gentle on yourself. If your inner thighs are super tight, be very careful. Keep a little slight micro bend in the knees. So you're gonna keep the toes flexed. Open as wide as you can. Some people will say remove the flesh out from under your bottom. I don't uh, recommend that because I can pull the hamstrings. So we're just gonna rock side to side just to get the bottom out of the way a little bit. We're not gonna pull anything. And then keep your fingertips behind you. Lift and lengthen. Flex the toes. Press the chest up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, wherever you go is perfectly fine. If you can only open here, no problem. Just go wherever you feel is comfortable today. And then press your head forward as if you're going, reaching the head towards the side of the room. I like to just bring my hands down onto the mat. And if you have a block or a book, you can bring that underneath your forehead. You can make it tall here. Wherever you want to go is perfectly fine. If you're one of those super bendy people and you can bring your belly on the ground and your whole torso, that's fine. Just find a way to stay engaged because we still, even when we're flexible, we want to strengthen so we don't overstretch the ligaments uh, in the leg. So we want to still keep engaging the quads, squeeze those kneecaps, squeezing the thighs, flex the feet, drop the head. And then on your next inhale, slowly walk the hands back in towards the body. Bend the knees very gently. Come in to bent knee position here. Hugging the knees into the chest in a seated position. Drop the forehead. 
And then inhale, extend the legs. Go ahead and drop all the way down onto your back on the mat here. And then slowly drop all the way down onto your back. Let's extend the arms back behind you, extend the legs. Reach the right heel down towards the front of the room. So you're really pressing that heel forward. And then take your left hand and hold onto your wrist and reach the hand in the opposite direction. So you're pressing your heel away from you in the opposite direction of the hand. Oh, that's a nice good side body stretch. And then release. Let's extend that left heel as far forward as you can. Go ahead and take your right hand over the left wrist. Reach that left hand back behind you, opposite direction of that left foot. And then slowly release, reach both arms and legs, opposite directions, and then go ahead and hug the knees into the chest for Apanasana. Go ahead and rock side to side a few times, just opening the lower back. And hold on to the outer edges of the knees. Let's make big circles here, drawing the knees away from you and to the side, making big circles left and right. And then opposite direction, left and right. Right and left, whichever way. And then come back to center. Let's come into a supported shoulder stand. So let's bring the legs down, feet onto the mat. And then go ahead and place your feet on the mat here. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift the right leg up. Again, strengthening the core gently to help us support the posture and our balance. You're gonna go ahead and slide the hands up the leg as you draw the foot closer towards your face. And then you're gonna lift the shoulders and the head off of the ground as much as you can, very gently here, keeping this left leg bent. On your next inhale, breathe in. Take the hands up the leg and up as far as you can go. And then exhale, lower the leg halfway, drop the head back down, taking the leg down for a 45 degree angle. And then inhale, slide back up. Breathe in, reaching the hand up, taking the shoulders off the ground as much as you can. Maybe point the toes or floint, <laughs> flex and point. And then exhale, take it back down halfway. Inhale, rise back up, slide the hands up the leg. Reach the shoulders off the ground. And then exhale, take it back down. Foot comes down about halfway here, 45 degrees, almost to the ground. And then inhale again, rise up. Breathing in, exhale, slowly lower. Two more times, inhale to rise. Exhale, take it back down. Last one, breathe in, exhale down, and release. Go ahead and extend that right leg down, and then bend the foot, bend the knee, bring the foot onto the ground, left leg rises up here, hands come to the leg, point the toes, and then as you inhale, rise up, reaching your fingers up as far as you can towards your toes, and then as you exhale, Drop the shoulders down, drop the leg about 45 degrees, not too low. Inhale, rise up. Breathing and reaching here. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And last one here, rise up. And exhale, take it down and release. And then let's just bring the arms back behind you. Rock the knees side to side a few times. On your next inhale, bring the knees into bent position. Bring your hands down in line with your uh, heels so that your hands just barely touch the heels. Coming into bridge pose, roll the shoulders underneath the back. Keep the chin lifted here. Do not look side to side. I'm not gonna look at the camera when I do this. On your next inhale, lift the hips up off of the ground. 
Maybe bring your palms to face down or clasp your hands together underneath your back and then continue shimming your shoulders underneath you. Keep pressing the hips high and then draw the knees away from you. Keep the chin lifted, do not look side to side. Relax the glutes, lift up a little higher and then exhale, release. Draw the knees into the chest. Maybe lift your forehead up off of the ground towards your knees. Exhale, release. Inhale, supported shoulder stand. Reach the feet up towards the sky. Press the balls of the feet up. And hold here. You can also use your block underneath the lower back, the sacrum, where the flat part of your back is near the tailbone. Otherwise, this is perfectly fine. And just take a few breaths. Maybe roll out the ankles a few times. Roll out the feet. Point the toes. Flex them. Point. Keep lifting the heels up towards the sky. Keep drawing the belly in towards the spine. Shoulders underneath the back. Maybe even shake a little bit here. That's good. Take a couple more breaths. And then on your next inhale, hug the knees into the chest and drop the feet down onto the mat. Go ahead and rock the knees side to side a few times. Bringing the arms up again over behind you on the ground and then draw the knees all the way over to the right. Holding here, you can also take the bottom foot. This is always a little confusing. You're gonna take the bottom foot, this is an option, and place the heel on top of the left knee and then you're using your foot to get into a deeper twist here in a nice side body stretch. Otherwise, just stay with the feet on the ground. Maybe look over the left shoulder. Inhale back to center, release the foot. Draw the knees all the way over to the left. Maybe gaze over the right shoulder here. Maybe take the bottom foot and place that heel on top of the right knee. Take a couple breaths. Bottom foot on top of the right knee as an option. And then slowly come back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. Bring the feet up to the sky, happy baby. Rocking the knees side to side, keeping the legs in a 90 degree angle. And then slowly hug the knees into the chest. And exhale, extend the legs. Extend the arms as we prepare for Shavasana, our relaxation pose. You're gonna just take something to put over your eyes if you like here. We're just gonna take a couple minutes I really encourage you not to skip this part. This is what we work the whole practice for is this final pose, which will engage the relaxation response in the body, which helps all healing in the mind and the body. So let's go ahead and lift the hips up, plop them back down. Lift the shoulders up, plop them back down. We're gonna do some breathing here. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in through the nose. We're gonna squeeze everything, squeeze the hands, squeeze the feet, squeeze the shoulders, maybe lift the head up, maybe lift the legs up, squeeze, and exhale, let it all go. And two more times, inhale, squeeze everything, squeeze your shoulders, squeeze, and exhale, let it go. One last time, inhale, squeeze everything, hold it all, exhale, let it go. And just rock your head side to side a few times. Pausing here in stillness. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the throat, open the mouth, let it go. Come into starfish, open your feet and your hands all the way out, legs and arms out.
wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently roll to your right side and pause here. Or if you're pregnant, roll to your left. With your eyes still closed, gently press yourself up into a seated position, facing towards me. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale at the mouth. Skill our practice with an OM on the third breath out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale at the mouth. Last one, inhale. for showing up on your mat today. Gently float your eyes open. I see you. I'm so grateful for you being here.